Okay, so if you're looking to increase your social media presence, uh, Instagram is a great tool for you to use. Um, we're gonna look at um, just one business's Instagram page uh, today and um, kind of give you a rundown on what what you should have on there, um, what kind of some best practices are and that kind of thing. So you can see that we're on the Degree CrossFit Seaforth um, page here. They've got a little description. They've got a link in here. Um, and there's lots of different posts on here as well. Um, these are called uh, highlights. So you can create these different highlights by posting in your story first. Um, you'll have to do that on your cell phone and most of this will be done on your cell phone, um, but I didn't have a good way of recording that. So um, I'm doing it on a desktop computer. So to give you an idea of um, how to edit some of this stuff, I'll go to my personal profile. Um, because I don't have um, control over this business account. So to edit this, um, you'll click edit um, and that will take you to all of these different um, uh, input fields. Um, so you'll have your name, your username and your business website. This is important um, because this will be will show up on your profile. Um, you'll want to put a bio in for your business. Um, and then you know your email address phone number and that kind of thing um, the important thing here is that this website button so you can go in and change this pretty often uh, i'm going to show you a tool that you can use um, so you can put multiple links um, in in the, the the problem with this is that you can only put one link right so what you want to be able to do is not have to change it super often if you have different service offerings or different product offerings you want to kind of just be able to put one link in there and not have to change it um, when you're advertising um, one thing to note is you are probably going to need a personal um, instagram account in order to have a business instagram account um, just keep that in mind it's very, very important that you split up your business and personal. Um, so many times I see a business um, Instagram page that has like personal wedding photos or, you know, birthday, like children's birthday photos and that kind of thing. And while that stuff is great, I'm not saying that you shouldn't put that on Instagram, but your business page is not the place for that. Your business page is for business and not for your, your personal stuff. So keep them separate. Um, okay, so on this one, you can see that we've got the name, a little um, description here, and we've got this link here. Now this looks a little bit different, right? So if we click on this, you'll see that there is this, like a, a few different links. I recommend putting between three and five on this, um, but you can see this right here is called uh, Linktree. So you can go to linktree.com um, or just Google Linktree and you can sign up for free. It's a totally free um, thing and you can get multiple links. You can change the colors, um, all that stuff. So um, this is a super useful free tool for you to use. Um, we'll go back to this page here. Okay, so you can see that there's a story um, here because this is pink and, and orange. You can only post video and um, photos from your phone. Okay, so when you wanna post a story, you'll have to um, do it from your phone. But you'll see here that when we click on this, we've got you know some current events that are happening, uh, there's some stuff that's going on at, at the gym. Um, this is probably stuff that happened today, or at least within the last 24 hours. As you can see that um, if you, if hours ago this was posted. Things will only live on your story for uh, 24 hours and then they will disappear. Now they are not gone forever, um, but they are gone from your story. Um, when you're on your phone, you'll see these little um, circles here and there will be a, an empty one. And the empty one um, is the one that will say new or do you wanna create a new story? And you'll click on that one and you'll be able to create these different um, highlights so that when someone goes to your profile and they're wondering what you're about and you don't have any current stories on they can kind of check out some of the stuff that's been going on um, when you post photos or when you post content on Instagram um, you will I mean the, the general rule is once a day now 
If you're struggling posting once a week, then maybe just do it once a week. That's totally fine. But the key here is to be consistent. Okay. Inconsistency doesn't make for um, consistent sales or consistent business, um, but consistency does. So just make sure that you're posting as as often as you think you can without you know being stressed about it. But at the same time, make sure that you're you're on a consistent schedule. So just set aside some time um, to do this, you know, once a week or once a day or whatever you whatever you can make time for. Now let's look at some of the content in here. So if I click on this one, um, it's a beautiful picture of Natalie. Now we've got a nice little description here, right? You know, why is Natalie awesome and that kind of thing. Okay. Um, here's some content videos uh, of of coach James, um, talking about, you know, a plank and why it's great. And then you'll see this, this is James's email address. Um, this is a, another video. Um, we've got another link and another email address here. So the point I'm trying to make here is your content or any social media, anything that you're posting on social media needs to have some kind of call to action because what you're trying to do here is get people off of social media and sitting in front of you or get them off social media and buying whatever it is that you sell. Okay. Which is why we have this tree link up here. Okay. So, um, we call these calls to action in the, in the marketing world. Um, you can see that these are all over the place. Um, make it easy for your viewers to buy or to get into your store or to contact you in any way. Okay. So that's the main purpose of social media. So just make sure that one, you're being consistent and two, you're asking people to take action. Um, good content, uh, features people, um, people want to hear about people. Um, so you'll see a lot of photos of, you know, the members and that kind of thing. But the more that you can tell people's stories on social media and how you can help your clients and what you did for your customers or how happy they were, that will bring people in. Um, to be honest, no one really cares about this stuff. Um, I mean, you, you definitely want to have it on there so you can showcase some of the things that you do, but you know, they just want to see people. They want to see the stories. They want to see the smiling faces. Um, they want to see why someone would ever want to use your product or service, right? Because if we can't tell them that, we're not going to be relatable. So tell stories as much as humanly possible. Um, I think that's it on social media. Um, if you have questions, you can reach out to me at um, kalitaconnell at gmail.com. Um, but that's it.